Today, I'm going to give you a 100 push up challenge, and I want to show you how this practice is yoga. Even though we're not doing traditional asanas today, or we're not going to be doing anything on the mat, particular with poses, etc., uh, I want to show you that yoga is so much more than just you know, a stretch or a pose. It is a very deep practice, and what it really is is about you going beyond the body. You be becoming something that you didn't even comprehend that you could possibly be. This is a, just a subtle, simple practice, and I want you to join me in this challenge. How fast does it take you to do 100 push-ups? I actually don't do push-ups on a regular basis, and so I'm kind of curious to know what I'm gonna do right now, and I don't even have a clock on me or anything. This was completely spur of the moment, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my challenge. I'm gonna do as many as I can, or I'm gonna do 100 push-ups as fast as I can, and I'll just judge my time based off the camera after I, I do uh, a look back at, uh, at the very beginning. And so um, I want you guys to take part in this. So when, when you're done watching this video, get a clock, get a timer, do 100 push-ups and see how fast it takes you. Like I said at the beginning though, I want this to be about you going beyond the body. So when your muscles are screaming, when you're painting, when there's a part of you that's saying stop, tune into that, listen to the muscle, listen to the body scream, listen to the mind. Your mind is gonna be saying stop at some point. It's gonna be saying, no, we're not ready. I want you to watch that, and when you see that thought, consciously decide, no, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep going. Because it is you, the observer, that pure consciousness that is watching the body being painful, watching the, the mind scream at you to stop. When we observe these things and we still keep going, that is where true expansion is, and that's where we really, you know, we meet our true destiny. We meet our, our fullest potential in life. And that's the only reason why we're here on this planet is to completely expand ourselves beyond comprehension. And that's what yoga is. Okay. So if you're new to yoga, I'm going to teach you yoga today and it's starting with push-ups. Okay. So this is, like I said, this is something that has nothing to do with the tra traditional asanas and it can be something very enjoyable still. Okay. So uh, we'll jump right into it. I'll stop talking. Uh, I'm going to do the hundred push-up challenge. I'll start and get as many push-ups in as I can in, in a row. Uh, and then I'm going to probably have to take a break. I, I, like I said, I haven't done push-ups in some time, but as fast as I can, 100 push-ups, correct push-ups. Okay. I'm going to get my chest down to the ground, full extension with my arms and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. So, Join me guys and uh, looking forward to seeing what my time is and again, let me know what your time was, all right? So here we go. <clears throat> Pushing through that barrier. I think that's 50. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to tune in to my true identity, which is what we refer to as Mahasadashiva. That pure consciousness that's pervading everything. The creator of the cosmos itself. Second. 
striking my awareness on my chest right now. Tuning into what's happening. Muscles are getting tight, I'm just being aware of it. pump on now though. Oh. Alright guys, so what I did there, I focused just on the, the pump that I was feeling. And when you get tired, your mind starts to wander. Like you, you definitely probably saw mine wandering. But then I, I catch it, I bring myself back, I tune in, once I tune in, I bring awareness to the muscle, I infuse my consciousness into the muscle, and it brings my mind down, connects me to my body, and then when I'm establishing myself in that, when I said Mahasadashiva, I'm establishing my cognition in that I'm all powerful. So it's just like, if you know affirmations, it's just like repeating over and over again. You know, I love Tony Robbins' affirmation when I was younger. Every day and every way I'm getting better and better and better. You know, affirmations, they'll work to an extent, but when you really try and cognize your something, or yourself as something, like, I am all powerful. I am unstoppable. I am the creator. I am connected to an unlimited amount of energy. There's a limitless, potential energy within me. When you have all of these types of thought currents fueling you, it will take you to the next and next level. And that's really how you develop a yogic body. You listen, you listen to what the body is saying, but you coming from that space of all powerfulness, the pure divine, the body is nothing. And so you push yourself, you push yourself. So I hope you guys do this challenge. But more importantly, I hope you bring in the, the correct cognition of what it truly means to be a yogi and bring that to various different dimensions in life. It doesn't just have to be on the mat, like I've said before. You can bring it to the gym. You can bring it to the office. You can bring it anywhere in life. But just truly try and connect yourself to that something greater that is within you. I can guarantee it. And, you know, keep following the channel. I, I think I'm gonna enjoy this. I enjoyed it. So uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know how many push-ups you uh, got or uh, how many minutes you got your 100 push-ups in. And yeah, maybe we'll do more of these. I'm enjoying it. So hopefully you're enjoying it too. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this too. I do a ton of stuff on yoga, a ton of stuff on uh, yoga theory. So let's help you manifest that true potential that's in you. And uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in my next video as always. Take care and thank you for tuning in. And as always, be blissful.